Real Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. And welcome to Grow TV. Hi, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. So, Carl, guess what I did today? You became a licensed therapist. Nope. You became the number one artist on country music charts. Nope. Did you... Wait. No. What? There's no way! You couldn't have! What? Did you undergo surgery to replace your human heart with a tortoise heart so you could live twice as long? Yes! Yes, I did! What? Are you serious? No. I did something almost just as cool. I got us a plan. What? Like a fern? No, not a plant, a plan. And it's plans to build something extremely cool. The biggest paper airplane to ever exist. What? You know the thing I love more than airplanes is paper. This is great. So what do we have to do? Well, like I said, I have the plans right here. So all we have to do is follow the plans perfectly and then voila, we have the perfect paper airplane. Seriously? That's it? Let's look at the plans. All right. There it is, right? It's just right in here, right in here. Here we go. Anywhere. That's right a lot of plans. Yeah. Right there, it's not that big, right? Wow. Is that all? Yep. All right, well, it kind of looks a little confusing, but I guess we can give it a shot. Let's do it. Yeah! I'm gonna say it. This is kind of weird paper airplane. Now I'm gonna, I'm, I don't think this is what it's supposed to look I like. I know that, Andy. Maybe we should try it again. There's no point, this plane is junk. Why can't my life be more like Jesus? What do you mean by that? Well, Jesus never had planes fall through like this. Well, that's not true. Do you remember the story about Jesus getting angry in the temple? It sounds familiar. What happened? Well, Jesus was going to Jerusalem to go to the temple and he found out people weren't sticking to the plan. Wait, whose plan? God's. Oh. What were they doing? Oh, where they were exchanging money and they were selling animals. Well, was that bad? Well, not technically, but they were doing it in the temple, which means they should have been celebrating the Passover instead. All right, hold on, you lost me. Passover? It was a time where all the Jewish people would come together in the temple and they would celebrate the time and remember the time that God delivered all the Israelites out of Egypt. Oh, got it. So them selling and exchanging things on the Passover wasn't part of the plan or God's plan. Exactly, and when Jesus got really upset, he started to turn over the tables and tell everyone to leave. But some of the people were wondering why Jesus even thought he had the authority to tell them to leave. Oh good, question the son of God. That's a good move. So Jesus told him that he would destroy the temple and then rebuild it three days later. A lot of people got confused when he said that. I can imagine. I know he's like Jesus and everything, but building that temple in that short time? I mean, that'll at least take, I don't know, seven to 10 business days? Well, it actually took them 46 years to build the temple, but that's not the point Jesus was trying to make. Jesus was trying to tell them that he was the plan going forward, that their old plans weren't what they should be trusting in. Oh, well, what old plans? The ones where they try to fix all of the brokenness on their own. When Jesus said he was gonna rebuild the temple in three days, he was talking about himself. He said he had the power to bring himself back to life after three days, and his life would bring everyone else life. Wow, so Jesus was talking about his life would be exchanged for ours the whole time. Yes, and to put it simply, Jesus was hinting at God's big plan. Wait, so Jesus dying for our sins was God's plan? Sure was, it was the only way we could receive forgiveness and repair our relationship with God. Holy moly, that's wild. So I guess God's plan did work out the way it was supposed to, unlike our paper airplane. Exactly, and that's why I wanted to tell you this story. God's plan never fails. Like Jesus, right? What? Like God's plan never failed for Jesus, but for others it might fail sometimes, right? No, God has a specific and unique plan for each and every person out there, and it's better than any plan we could ever make for ourselves. So God's plan is nothing like the paper airplane plan. Nothing, God's plan is perfect. Wow, speaking of perfect, that's our big idea! What? Today's big idea is God's plans are perfect. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, Three. God's, God's plans, plans are, are perfect. perfect! Yeah, they sure are. God has a perfect plan. It is perfecto. That is Spanish for perfect. perfect. Yep. Bilingual. Yay. 
see. So I'm really sorry I got your hopes up about the airplane plans. Um, I really thought it would be you know, cool. It just was confusing. <sighs> no worries. I couldn't understand it either. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Oh no. What? It was upside down the whole time! Oh. We are foolish. Okay, well. Do you, do you led me astray. See you next week, kids. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I apologize. It's fine, I it's didn't fine. know. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV.